Hey everyone, I'm in Brinigsville, Pennsylvania, and I'm at Touch of Thai. So this place used to be open in Easton, along the New Jersey border. So now they're out here a little bit west, and I'm trying a few dishes. So I started by ordering two of my favorites. Um, this is the beef salad, which uh, is one of my favorites. And then they also have, it's not uh, called this on the menu, I believe it's called street noodles. But this is a dish that I first tried uh, December 2014 on Yawa Rat Road in Bangkok. I believe the correct uh, Thai pronunciation for this will be Gui Tiao Kua Gai. I believe that would just translate to noodles with chicken. And then I'm also, I'm going to try something that I've never tried before. They wanted me to try this one because it's kind of unique to this menu. So this is a long eggplant. I don't know if you, how well you can see it there. But this is one of those long purple eggplant you would especially see in the Asian grocery stores in particular. Uh, so it's a chili lime sauce. There's also avocado tomato on it. So it's served like a salad. And I'm gonna be trying this one first. So I would not have ordered the eggplant, but I will say I really enjoyed it to the point where I would probably order it again. Um, kind of refreshing, it had sour, a bit of a sour taste from the lime juice, and I thought it was gonna taste the same as the beef salad. But I would say the beef salad, there is a little bit of lime juice in it, but it's not the main flavor. And the beef salad definitely has some spice to it compared to the eggplant. Well, those three dishes were uh, excellent. It's hard to pick between the three. Uh, I am going to say the Gui Tiao Kua Gai was my favorite, um, probably followed by the avocado, then the beef salad. But I got a couple desserts here. So this is fried banana with coconut ice cream. The reason I tried this one is because the coconut ice cream is made in-house. And then another one they suggested uh, was the Siamese mango. So this is a mango custard they also make in-house. All right, between the two desserts, first I wanna talk about the mango. So that one, you could definitely taste the mango, which was great, but I was definitely partial towards the coconut ice cream. So with the coconut ice cream, it was slightly airy. It wasn't overly sweet. I'm really glad they make it in-house. That's what really made me wanna try it. And you definitely have to try that if you come here. Thank you very much for watching. If you like this video, please subscribe. I got more trips coming up soon. I got Las Vegas at the end of this month. I have Houston in September, and I look forward to sharing more videos with you.